when the whole muscle is analyzed, it doesn't matter load scheme or exercise selection. Different exercises that target the same muscle, they induce what we call regional hypertrophy. And we are one of the first to show that, yes, varying exercise was better than only doing one exercise. Thanks to reviewer. That's great. <laughs> he requested, we yeah, like, yeah. okay, let's do it. That's a big shift for sure, because yeah. that could have changed the trajectory of a lot of things to be able to yeah, see that. that. Yeah. And that's obviously been reinforced throughout for the last 10 years. Yeah, that was very interesting. But again, like uh, even when you measure muscle fiber cross-sectional area, if you just outline the fiber, you can separate like a contractile protein from fluid in the muscle sure. or edema. With the edema stuff, like we don't know sometimes if they're talking about muscle damage or now sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Right. And you got to point it out that if you think about the muscle as a house, right? We have uh, three residents that really need space inside the house. Myofibular resident, roughly 80% is contractile protein. And then the 20% remaining, we talk about sarcoplasmic structures. We talk about energy storage, like a roughly intramuscular fat, glycogen, only 5% of, of the muscle volume. So primary hypertrophy always going to be myofibular. Right because that's roughly 80% of the muscle.